Hey, good evening. This is Cheryl Peavy coming to you on day number 71 of Time to Live My Purpose Journey. I just want to thank each and every single person who is tuning in to me tonight. Now, today I want to talk to you about spiritual warfare or spiritual attacks. Whatever name you call it for yourself. I call it spiritual. I call it both, honestly. And I am noticing as I am walking in my purpose, as I'm continually to grow in my purpose and get to know myself more and truly understand what God is calling me to do, I am getting attacked more. And sometimes I'm telling you, it comes out of nowhere. Some of the things that are happening can just like make you go, wait a minute. I mean, it's a surprise. And what I want to do is not only encourage you, but encourage myself as we are going through these spiritual attacks is that we're not exempt. If you think that we are never, ever, ever going to experience any spiritual attacks, you better think again. Because once you confess that you are a believer, that you love God, that God is in your life, that you are living your life for his purpose, that you're walking in what he has called you to do, that you are trying to transform yourself and conform yourself more into his image and his likeness, you are going to be attacked more and more. And when I think about that and look at the more attacks you are having, that means you're about to go through or experience a breakthrough. And one of the things that I have been doing is when I'm getting these spiritual attacks, I'm going to prayer warriors. I'm saying, hey, this is what's going on. I need you to pray for me because I know that I cannot get through a spiritual attack by myself. Yes, it's, it's great to pray. You pray. Yes, definitely. But when you have more praying and you're praying in God's name and you're praying against the enemy, guess what happens? You become stronger. You become united. And then that means that it's going to be harder for the enemy to be able to distract you, to get to you, to tear you down, to stop you walking in your purpose. Because that's all the attacks are. The enemy knows who is called. The enemy knows exactly what's going on. But I also want you to remember this very, very important fact. And if you are not for sure, I want you to go and read the book of Job. The enemy cannot do anything to us without God's permission. He has to have God's permission first to attack us. And God says, I know if I allow this to happen in this person's life, they are not going to curse me. They are still going to love me. They may be mad. They may not understand, but their heart is still going to be after me. Because we already know what the bigger picture is. The bigger picture is the spiritual realm. We know that there are wars going on. We understand this, that before the foundation of the earth was ever made, before we were here, there was spiritual war warfare going on. The, the enemy, Lucifer, Satan, whatever you call him, the devil, whatever name you have for him, he was a fallen angel. He was second in command. He had power. He was beautiful. You need to go read the book of Ezekiel, and I'm not for sure about the chapter, and I don't want to quote you a different chapter, but if you search in the Bible, you can read about how he was ordained in these precious gems and diamonds and jewels. He was second in command. So he thought he was bad and bold enough. He was like, you know what? <clears throat> God, <laughs> I know I can have all these other angels follow me over you, that I will be the head chief, that I would be God. So God allowed <clears throat> Lucifer to take a third of the angels with him. And ever since then, that has been a war going on between good and evil. And God always prevails. Not saying that you're not going to go through something with getting some wounds or, you know, those scars can heal and it may take time. But I just want you to stay focused. I just want you to stay true to your purpose. I don't want you to give mm -hmm. up. And there are tools or tips or a couple of ways that I want to share with you how you can overcome a spiritual attack when it happens. Of course, you're going to pray. Is when First of all, I say recognize that it's a spiritual attack. Don't look at that person. Don't look at that situation as bring, being brought directly by them to you for their own, you know, personal needs. It's a bigger picture. They are being used as a tool, as a vessel to get to you, to distract you, to take you off your purpose, to have you 
Just fall down and say, I give up. I don't want to do this anymore. So you have to look at what's happening as that is a bigger picture. You need to pray. And I suggest you get some prayer warriors who can pray with you, who can pray for you, because you cannot get through any of these attacks by yourself. You need to believe and stand in the truth of your purpose. You need to not fear. You hear me? Do not fear. You need to just stay focused. You need to just allow God to work. Do not try to control the situation. Let God control what's going on and watch God work. And all you do is pray, 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 pray. Don't put your hand in anything. <laughs> because sometimes when we put our hands in something, we make it worse. And right now, we all, there's all of us right now, I'm not saying all of us, there's a majority of us right now at this present moment in time are being spiritually attacked. It could be finances, it could be depression, it could be anxiety, it could be someone hurt you from a broken relationship, it could be anything that is taking you off of your purpose, off of God. That's what the enemy's trying to do. So I'm coming on tonight just to encourage you as well as myself, that when we are going to go through these, you know, spiritual attacks, that we can overcome. Get on the phone, call your prayer warriors, call your friend who can pray with you, get on your hands and knees, pray, and know that this too shall pass. And I want to thank each and every single person who has been praying for me right now because I'm being attacked. I'm realizing as I've been coming on for 71 days, non-stop every single day haven't missed a day that I'm sharing some wonderful information with you that I would sit up here and think that I'm not going to be attacked that some things are going to start to happen to try to prevent me from coming on doing a video trying to prevent me from doing a telesummit conference that I'm doing tomorrow to try to take me off of other ideas and things that are coming into my mind that I want to create, I want to carry out, and me working with wonderful women, me, you know, connecting with amazing women across the globe. I mean, do you think the enemy wants that? Do you think the enemy wants all this good stuff to happen? Hell no, okay? I was going to say heck no. It's hell no. Because he has a purpose as well. So remember that God will not put more on us than we can bear. Remember that <laughs> the enemy cannot do anything to you without God's permission. And this is also a test of our love, of our faith to our purpose, to God, and to ourselves. And I want to leave you with a few quotes that will help you and also encourage me at the same time. So here we go. You never know how big of a threat you are to the enemy until you start doing something for God. I love that. One more time. You never know how big of a threat you are, okay? Until you start doing something for God. Last, all of heaven is leaning over the balcony, cheering you on. The God of angels, excuse me, the God of angel armies coaching you. With each swift blow, the enemy is weakened. Do not run away. Final round. And I got to read that one more time because I messed that up. All of heaven is leaning over the balcony, cheering you on. The God of angel armies coaching you with each swift blow. The enemy is weakened. Do not run away. Final round. This has been Cheryl Peavy for day number 71 of Time to Live My Purpose Journey. I hope that you tune in to me tomorrow on day number 72. I hope that this has helped you, encourage you, inspire you to continue to stay steadfast. Continue to stay focused on your purpose. Pray. Pray, 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 pray for a hedge of protection. He will protect you. He will make your enemies thy footstool. He knows, God knows what you are here to do. And God loves you. He loves me. We are fearfully, wonderfully made. Remember, everything that we are going through 
It's to help other people in the end get through their spiritual attacks, help them reach their potential, help them walk in their purpose, help them make a difference and impact this world and be a blessing to others. Thanks for tuning in again. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of the evening. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.